good morning one and all welcome to the video in this video we are going to learn about um semantics ui how to make this amazing uh text box basically with an autocomplete so here you can see this nice drop downs or suggestion or whatever you want to call how to make this right using semantic ui and as you keep typing you will you will see the text is all so we are also doing like a binding right so two way binding so i'm gonna be teaching you about that uh in very simple uh, way uh so let's get started so first of all you need a bootstrap li a link so i'm gonna paste all the bootstrap cdn links you need jquery so jquery links handlebars i mean we don't need it usually so i'm gonna comment it out for this tutorial then we basically uh, need semantics ui cdn so i'm gonna place their cdn links right here once done that what we want to do is basically uh, let me show you uh, so I have a diff, diff tag, basically a container, right? Then basically we want to define a div element right here, which says UI search. Inside the UI search, we want to say another div tag, which has a class of UI icon and input. Then we'll basically define an input tag. Here you can see placeholder search for any countries, I tag, search icon, and a span tag of text. Um, so this span is basically is basically where we will be appending our text content, right? So uh yeah and uh, now basically if you want to do autocomplete this is the this is the standard format the data should be in so it is basically a list of json documents so which has a key call as title and then it has a value the value can be anything that you want to display on the autocomplete so this is the format the snippets is there now what you would do is using jquery you would select that element ui search so basically you are selecting this div tag right here, the outer div tag. Then you are saying dot search. So basically we are gonna use the function dot search and then we'll say source is equal to dot content. So source as content, the content is this list of JSON documents. And if you wanna do a two way binding, so if you wanna like uh, as users are typing, you wanna make, you wanna update the list dynamically, what you would do is basically you would say dot prompt. So you would select the text input. You would attach an event handler, uh, input and then function data so basically this is just going to print all whatever character you keep typing on the text box as people are typing you can keep making ajax call here so i I'll, i can say um make ajax ajax call here so add the code here and what you would do is basically update the list of json documents so yeah update the list of json documents and that's all for this so now um if you say a we should give you all the things starting with a or if you say s so yeah it works fine so yeah that's it for this tutorial i would leave the code in the paste pin below so you can play with it if you have any more questions kindly list your question in the comment section below and i would be very happy to assist you once again thank you for watching see you in the next video